Hi and welcome to another video. This one's a, a graphical representation uh, of the timer interrupt flag as you see here and the timer zero register. So this box filling up the numbers graphical representation of that register. Uh, timer zero has got two registers high and low but we're, you, we're just using a, an 8-bit counter and one register so we're using a, an a unsigned counter, so unsigned, so it's just a it's hold up and not positive or negative or anything. Uh, assigning that as a counter, filling this box up, when it overflows, we're getting a flag. A flag starts the program and starts the process, whether you turn on LEDs or relays or something like that. So timer interrupt flag, we have to clear the flag, clear the count, start again. So timer naught register here. Hopefully that makes sense. So when you talk about registers overflowing, they're 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 overflowing with um, the count uh, in numbers. Uh, this, as I say, just graphical representation. Hopefully you'll find this easier to understand. So what this, what I'm actually doing on this board, let me just, I'll have to program it, but I've got the system ready. I'm going to zoom back out, lock this camera off, adjust timer. So what I'm actually doing, using this timer interrupt, hopefully that's programming, uh, using the flag, starting my counter, and can you actually see those LEDs on this camera? I can see them, but it doesn't look very clear from here, does it? Might have to turn the lights off. Oh no, there you go. In fact, I think we'll turn the lights off for a second. So that's um, this timer counting to a random number. I've got it set at 50. You can set it at 250, uh, change it to a 16 bit, uh, two registers and count up to, you know, 4 million or was it 420 million or something like that. Um, right, this is just what I'm doing just to demonstrate a simple timer configuration. Uh, you'll see the configuration of these LEDs in a minute. And that's all I'm doing. Turn the light back on, show you some code. Right, so I'm using Electronica's uh, Easy Pick version 7 board uh, and their timer demonstration program, but I've removed uh, a load of stuff that you don't need. So there's the unsigned count. Can you see that? Scroll down, right, microelectronica. There's the unsigned count, void interrupt, it's our first bit. So this is the timer interrupt flag. What this bit here is saying, this timer zero and interrupt flag, it's saying if it's one, uh, our count equals count plus one. You can actually write this another way. You can actually go count. Is it? Um, a count plus plus is the same as saying count plus count equals one. You can just go count plus plus. So what we're doing, looking for the flag and start on the counter. Once we're starting, every time we see the flag, where you have to zero the flag, otherwise the program is going to halt. So we start counting, zero the flag, there, this is the main program, setting B and D to digital, B and D tri-state ports uh, to outputs, that's what the, uh, I'm not sure if you know, TRIZ B and TRIZ D, uh, is the old fashioned yeah, tri-state, um, right, this is the configuration for the uh, B and D. Now if you look at these, I've done it in binary form so you can understand what we're turning on and off. 
these are the pins of various ports and you can see that LEDs off that one's on off on off on um, and the same there I've got in an alternate arrangement there where setting the timer low register at zero because we're using the 8-bit counter we're only using a low register this is the scroll down a bit more make sure you're in I think it's still in there um, this is the timer zero configuration C7 I'll, I'll go through that bit in a minute global interrupts enabled bit one uh, timer interrupt enable bit is, is enabled start on the count at naught and then this is the loop which is all the flashing LEDs that do if the counts greater than or equal to 50 we're turning port B on and port D on but if you look at the squiggle lines there what that's actually doing make sure you're in there what these little squiggles actually do is invert the port so if we had half of the LEDs on at one stage the next count uh, the other half come on vice versa and after that's happened uh, we're zeroing the count and it goes starts again as you see we zero the flag and start again right so this um, timer configuration uh, that's hexadecimal uh, C7 so as you remember from previous videos get up the calculator go view programmer so what do we have C7 so in hex here C7 decimal is that right? C I'll put CF should be cancel C seven decimal one nine nine that's better binary representation one one oh 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 one 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 right so that doesn't mean anything at the moment go to the data sheet and the timer configuration which I've already got here close this back up get this back up that's just the maybe I should do right, get the calculator up so you can see it right this is what we're doing timer configuration let me just the timer there at the top hopefully you can see that This is the uh, microchips data sheet. Right, scroll down, get this in view first. Bring up my calculator. So these are the bits we're setting. You can see there uh, from the hexadecimal back to binary. So we're setting bit seven to one, enable timer. The next bit we're setting to one. Bit six, timer zero is configured as eight bit. If you want the larger numbers, use 16 bit counter and then we'd have two boxes filling with numbers. Uh, but the graphics there, you just saw the one. So it's naught, 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 and down the bottom, bit two to zero. So it's always confusing, two to nothing is, no, you'd think it's two, but zero is a number. So there's our last three bits, one, 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 it's our pre-scaler, uh, one to two, 156. Um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, so that's uh, was it 199? Plus, oh, so you could actually write zero small b, then one one zero 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 one 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 and program. Right, that's it. I'm out of time. Uh, put you back on the video. Uh, LEDs. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, please give a quick like if you like it. Thank you very much.